Welcome to Soul Play TV's first episode of The Sit Down. I'm TJ, and today we have four juggernauts of the fashion and culture world, all from the Atlanta area. Today, we have Ja, creator and founder of AEBL, Atlanta Entertainment Basketball League, Taj, the creator and founder of Brims, Tony, the sneakerhead guru, and Chris, the operation manager of Soul Play. What's going on, fellas? We're going to dive right into it. And it's like, we talked a little bit earlier before, you know, Tony got here, before Taj got here about just hip-hop and how it's, it's just pushing and put it upside, put it, turn it on its head this past couple of days. So, the first question I'm going to ask y'all, how is the state of hip-hop today in y'all's opinion? Because you know you got a lot of bubblegum rap, we got your... No, no disrespect, but you got the Takashi 6 ix 9 you got your Uzi. They got songs that, that ride, but in y'all opinion, how is hip-hop today? I'm gonna start with Josh. Um, I think I think hip-hop's in a good space, man. I think um, it's nothing new under the sun. I mean, we've had um, these same different type of young acts come from Soldier Boys to um, uh, the dancer, you know, the dancing tracks or whatever. Um, I think hip hop is really the, the, the growth of it, um, is obviously excelling because, I mean, we haven't had a time where there's artists that are fluctuating through different parts of hip hop, really making noise. Like the boy Kendrick just got a Pulitzer Prize yesterday. Um, you know, you got J. Cole, you got, you know, you got the pushers who, who come from the hard knock. Uh, battle rap scene that's back on the scene with the dope album. Um, the boy, the Six God, is coming with his with his album. Um, so I think I think the game is is really in a good space, and I think it's just about what you like as a fan. You know, I, I don't really knock anybody's music. I listen to what I listen to, and right, right. the people that like the the Takashi's and the different artists like that, they listen to their art. Right, right. I agree. I agree. Okay, but you, you spoke on the six. I got. I, I wanted to wait to jump into the six guy. Let's get it early. But, but we gonna <laughs> we gonna dive right in. Okay. Push a T and the oh. six guy. Push. What do you think? Like, who's winning right now? I think it's one one. I think it's one one because they both gave you seven. And, and neither one of them killed each other. They really didn't even talk no, about no. each other. Oh, they no, talked no. about. Yeah, they, I mean, I, I, we just had a, a big discussion in the barbershop about it, right? Like, Drake didn't really talk about Pusher. He talked about Kanye, you know, in the connection to Pusher. Right, and right. then when Pusher came back with, because really it was, a, Drake responded to him. So right. that's why I'm really saying it's 1-1 one, one gotcha. because gotcha. the infrared joint wasn't directed at Drake, but we knew who he was exactly. talking about. So that's why I'm I'm, I'm leveling in that 1-1 one, one right now for the battle of, you know, Who's going? Who's going to draw the next blow? Okay. You know. Okay, Mr. Chris. I think you, that. Um, I think it's two one. I think, and I think Push is is uh, put himself up. Um, the reason why I say that is because um, I do agree with what, you, with what you said. Even though they were indirect jabs as far as with it was infrared and with um, Duppy, his uh, his uh, freestyle or whatever. Um, when when Drake referenced like. Push's fiance, then that's when that's when it just got like you know like like elevated, and then Push was already ready after that. He was already coming with like pushes from that era, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like where like they they're like more strategic with like how they come about. But, but not to you know, cut you off. Let me ask you something. Thing. Did you did you know who Virginia Williams was before I you went and researched who? it? Nope. Not either. So <laughs> he, so Drake wasn't talking about his wife. He used it as a punchline. Put in you, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, like, really, they neither neither one of them took shots at each other. They just brought out attention. Yes, did Pusha get disrespectful? Super disrespectful. But the level of respect with it is like that's what he do. He if he didn't do that, that's not Pusha T. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't really say nothing. Nobody didn't know. Push was smart for this one. He should teach it. Was that smart. was Kanye though. Know what that, that, that's yeah. Kanye. That's not push it. That's that's my Nah, cause <laughs> that's I heard this that's, that's push. It's just all push, right? Cause you that's know push. Kanye and Drake had a little cordial relationship. Right. It's kind of fake a little bit right. to me. Right. But I mean, Kanye, I don't think he wanted that smoke with Drake right. at one point. Right. But push was real smart with this one because he kind of threw out that bait. It's like he kind of threw a shot at him. Okay. If he catch it, if he take it, then I'm gonna come at him. If right. not, I'm just gonna let it fly. Right. So Drake. Knowing him, everybody hyping him, uh, what he did to me. He was like, yo, I'm not gonna let somebody just 
those shots at me talking about I ain't right myself and not say something sure. because I'm known to take heavy hitters down. Okay. So Drake came at him. Right. Don't get me wrong, Duffy Freestyle, it went in, playing in the club. They right. played in the right. club. But Pusha was waiting for this. I didn't even know this picture existed. Right. And I didn't even know this picture was on the, right. the he internet the or nothing. I didn't he even know he took this picture. Right. So he had this in his. He had this in the arsenal, bro. He had it in the Right. Bro. So 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 my thing with it, right, and, not, and everybody's opinion is yeah, valid because everybody's perception of what they're looking at or hearing is different. My my thing to that is that I think I think we looking at it backwards. I, I really think if Drake album is ready to come out, like he's he's, yeah, he's just somewhat finished it with it, right? Yeah. And I guess sometimes, and I say this, I said this today even in the barbershop. I was like, you know, for me because I've somewhat removed myself from music, like mm -hmm. the artistic side of it, and I look at the business. Is that you know just as well as this seems strategic for. Pusher is strategic for Drake and it's, it's uh, strategic for Kanye and the labels. Like I don't, I don't think there's a real beef. Like, yo, if I see you in the street, oh, but no, it's no, like no, 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 we no. both could benefit from this if we do this the right way. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay. Boy, Tony, like he's anxious. He want to <laughs> jump in this debate. He want to jump in this debate. No, what's your, what's, right, your, what's right. your take? I was listening to everybody's thing. Everybody seems to be on the same page. One. Uh, hip hop's in a good place. I feel like hip hop compared to back in the '90s and now, like there's right. way more categories to the types. So that's why there's so many different rappers now. Right, right, People right. want to just get their ride on. They listen to the bu bum the bumble bu the bumble. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want some lyrical stuff. They got the J Cole. They got the Kendricks. You got the trap shit in the hood. You go through, you know, right, right, right. Sad, whatever. There's just so many different types of rap now compared to back in the day. Everybody was Air it's Force on One, grills, yeah, they were, yeah, you know, Shiki yeah. Tail Feather, whatever. It was like Long white teeth. There was like one dimension. Now it's so many dimensions on it. Now with the Drake and Pusha thing, my conspiracy thoughts was I thought that I thought that Drake already had heard Infrared before it dropped. Honestly, the way he snapped, he did. I feel like he heard he it. Did, like he it did. was linked to me with them. As soon as he dropped, he's like, bam. And then like y'all said also though, Pusha already. He, it was a bait. He threw the fish out, and mm -hmm. once he got, he's like, this, this, this was the real first right. uh, disc. Right. The one we heard the other right. day. Uh, at this uh, this uh, story of Addy Don. That was the real disc. That right. was the first one was the disc right. track. So for that reason, I'm gonna leave it at one 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 even also because honestly, Duppy, me personally, I, I like Duppy more than Infrared, but I didn't count that one. I counted right. these head to head. Head to head. 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 And I agree. I need to let I need to hear Drake. I have to let Drake get a response before right. I can put him ahead. That's but, all. But my thing is, Tom is ticket for Drake. I know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, I know. Any other rapper, rapper Pusha took seven days. Any other rapper, so, if Drake would have came out with Life of Eighty Nine, whatever, like if he would have reversed it, they would have want Pusha to put it out the next twenty four hours. But if they right, did, they were saying right. But but that's what I'm saying. If you think about what he did with Meek, right? Those was like throwaways. Like that wasn't. Did. Like, he didn't really plan to do that. To he nah. he did, and, and, and we use like he just said that we use this as an example. If you're talking about Push is a battle rapper, exactly. Drake is a record maker, right? But so there's a difference. Drake ain't sitting there like, yo, let me just think of something dope. He's gonna creatively. This is where I say where he, where people don't pay attention to him, not and not. You don't have to be a super fan to pay attention mm -hmm. to him when he does this. Drake is calculated, so he's not gonna put out a battle rap song, and it's not gonna benefit him. He's gonna create a record. They he's gonna know. have dope punchlines. Yeah. He's gonna talk about you in the record, and they're gonna play it on the radio in the club, yeah. so he can make money. He ain't he ain't doing it just for he's Instagram. Doing it in a smart way because if you make a dope, like he said, a dope record, they can play in the club. What's right. the, you automatically want right because it's gonna keep that's, spending and, and that's his spending. motto. So he's not going just because the fans or social media is hyping it. Mm -hmm. Like yo, you need to come back now because he talked about your moms. He talked about forty. He's not gonna do that. <laughs> but he's this, he gonna stick to his script. I feel like this is a battle that Drake. He, he got oh yeah, this is a real battle because yeah. Pusha threw out that picture. That black face but the, picture. But, that, the, but, that, the, but the picture, the picture really the ain't hurt him because it, it hurt him to people who don't understand. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Is like Drake fans might have looked at it like, oh wow, what you doing, bro? That's why he dropped this thing on the story yesterday to make sure he put clarity to his. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me. No, let me. But let me. But let me say this, right? All right. 
What about the what about the Daytona cover picture? That is disrespectful as fuck. You got a point. Like that's that's our like that's our uh Princess Diana, bro. You see what I'm saying? And you are supposed to be someone that was hold quote unquote, right? Because you're a Kardashian now, so you really we don't even look at you for culture, right? But you were supposed like, to hey? you were supposed to protect that. You get what I'm saying? So just as much as flag or I get it, the black face, but it had a different meaning to it. The connotation to it was different than what was portrayed. And of if course. you look at Lupe, the, the the message that he put, he said, yo, if you just saw it for the first time, you would think the same thing. But if you really knew the story, like, oh, and the artist came out. So now you got people with validity talking about why you did the picture versus it just being, oh, I'm going to do a black face because I'm not sure if I'm black or white. No, it wasn't like that. I but know disrespect? If you really want to talk about disrespect, and I mean, y'all can chime in on this. Like, dude, you use yeah, I thought, you use the picture of our Princess Diana, Princess Diana <laughs> bro. Her murder scene, or or when she died, as the cover to sell records because you wanted controversy. That's it. You, that's disrespect, bro. And that's like somebody coughed up money to get right. That. Eighty-five like racks. 85 didn't even go to his family. Yeah. Didn't even take the respect to go to her family. Went through the person who has the license in the state. And did it, not her family. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's like somebody posting a picture of his mom's on her on her hospital bed. That's disrespectful, bro. So I agree. Yeah. I agree on that one. I do agree on it. You gotta. Also, I would I want to clarify because I, I, I my stance has changed since then. When I was first, when I I mean I changed up like as soon as I heard it. I did like a podcast and I was talking mm-hmm. about the the diss. And I was like, man, push one kind of disrespectful. But at the same time, like I was saying, I don't think Drake took it any any way fighting wise because you know why. Push is a battle rapper, but Drake hangs with battle rappers. Right. Yeah. He hangs right. with them. Like, right. There's been numerous like battle raps on YouTube where Drake in the back and that's chilling. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows, he, yeah. he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows the, the scenery. It's kind of like it's kind of like a kid growing up where their dad is the dope dealer, but the, the dope dealer makes sure the son don't go on the streets. Right. You got to learn where what's going on. Right. But he knows what's going on. So exactly. that's how I see Drake. That's why he know how to do it. Right. He might not be the best, but he know right. how to do it. And the back to back. Drake know how to put out these battle rap songs without any, you don't name spill you. So that way when you, when the person that's listening to it on the radio, they can kind of find their own connotation to it. That's why back to back, I feel like anybody who's a hater, you can you could say that's, that, that, right. you, you speaking to your hater right. in your back to back track. Right. So you know how to make it like a single at the same time. Wait, hey, we can talk about this forever. Right. Right. <laughs> and I would love to hear us talk about right. this forever. Right. But we're going to jump into the next question. Okay. okay. So since we already, we, you know, the state of hip hop and everything like that is going good. now. As of late, a lot of hip hop artists have been doing a lot of collaborations with Nike, Jordan, Adidas, like just like with Pusha, Drake, you know. Right. What do you guys think about the collaboration? Do you think that helps hip hop, hurts hip hop? What do y'all take on it, John? I think it is hip hop. I think okay. I think that's how all this stuff started. Yeah, I don't too. I don't think I don't think that this is again, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. The right. machine is just all you different. Right. All better, all worse, depending on who it is. Um I think, you know, if you go back, I, I grew up, you know, like it's funny that he said that because I always use that as, you know, as a kind of sentiment and time for me connecting with hip hop is, you know, growing up in my neighborhood, like you had to have the, the freshest Air Force Ones. And we didn't and we didn't wear Midtowns until you got to middle school, high school. Either you had the uptowns or you had the downtowns. Right, right, right. You know, and whoever had the freshest ones or whoever rocked the freshest gear. You was popping on the block, like you know, that's just how it was. I just happened to be fortunate that I was around a lot of my, you know, older cousins and stuff. You know, played pro ball and they hung out with the rappers. Right. Um, you know, like my aunt was one of the first people that started Rockefeller, so I saw a lot of the early stuff and it caught me. Like I wasn't like the normal kid. Like remember, I was telling you about yeah. the, the the cap and gowns. Like yeah. we ain't line up for those shoes. Mm-hmm. Either you had the bread to go get them or you didn't. So it's like if you happen to have the bread, you could go get them on Friday before school and rock them at school and have them for the weekend. So I think it's really dope that, you know, the artists, um, brands are respecting these artists and, and, and their influence on uh, this generation. Um, you know, like the Kendrick, like Kendrick was with Reebok. He did a dope campaign with them. I don't think that really pushed the needle a lot because Reebok's kind of dead on that, right? And then he moved over to, to Nike and look what's happening. Cortez yeah, yeah, is moving again like it was growing up. So I, I think it's really dope, man. And I think 
it is hip hop. It's, I don't think there's a certain dynamic of it that it plays. It is hip hop, all the way back to Run DMC. The shell told Yeah. Yeah, I do believe that. I think that it definitely doesn't hinder, you know, the the advancement of the culture. I think it just makes it, you know, more diverse. Right. You know, it um starts to. Uh, bleed into different avenues of just anything, you know, as far as, you know, the, the clothing with the shoes, you know, you don't know if we can, we'll see collabs down the line with, you know, different types of, you know, limited edition cars, you know, something like right. that, you know, it just, it just opens avenues to, uh, to different things. And um, I think that, the, that this being the first avenue as far as with the fashion, that ties directly into the hip hop, you know, and um, that definitely correlates itself with that. So I think it's dope. I'm looking forward to seeing um, to seeing other artists, you know, come out. And even with that, you know, since we're um, since we all have um, some type of nationality in us, the same nationality in us, they're wanting to do more with our culture. You know, yeah. since they see that you know we are the you know we're we're most of the people that you know push it forward. Right. You know, we're not we're not no more so shunned upon now right. as far as right. you know like with ideas. Now we're more so like, you know, oh, well, like, let me see what they're doing over there. You right. know what I mean? Because that's right. actually dope. Right. You know, like people actually like that. I'll give you an example. When um, I would have never thought growing up, I would see a Metro boom and, and a scissor on Gap. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. Right. That's you true. know what I mean? Right, yeah. Like, I would have never thought that, you know, but ever since that whole H&M thing came out yeah. and all these type of scandals, they're like, okay. You know, like, I don't know if it's more of it's like, you know, okay, well, like, let me see how this works right. or like, you know, they're actually respecting the culture. But either way, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, I think it's, it's a little bit us, of both. Yeah, yeah, it's showing us in a, in a more of a, showing us meaning like the culture more like a different light, you right. know? And I respect it. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other companies do with other uh, with other people as far as collab. So I think it's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with both of y'all because like I was like I was talking to my homeboy earlier, by them collabing with different artists, rappers, you know, people with influence, that's pushing the Nike, Adidas, they smart for that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at it, before Adidas got Kanye, they had Pharrell, don't get me wrong, he was pushing right. a little bit. Right. Pushing a little bit, but when Ye came on the board, they everybody's like, oh, another thing. Have Adidas jumped right. over Nike, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. It's right. just right. It's, and you start getting a competitor, but of course, you know, Nike's always gonna be top right. tier. Right. Always. You know what I'm saying? But them collabing with different artists is gonna help. It's helping the culture for real right. because people in the street they gonna what my artist, what my favorite artist wearing, what 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 is my favorite celebrity wearing? You know what I'm saying? That's that's when they're like, okay, like Kimmy Knight, Stan Smith, I couldn't stand, him. Right. I couldn't stand him. Jay put him on his feet. Oh, don't think hard. Right. Right. Don't think right. hard. I'm being right. honest. You know what I'm saying? Don't think it's hard. Just I just seen how he wore him, and I was like. Yeah, I gotta give me a pair. Right. And they talk about me to this day, but I'm, that's real. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. just being real about it. So I feel like by them combining that and doing the collab, that kind of push the culture. It helped a lot. Yeah, about you, yeah man. I think I think first and foremost, hip hop is like the heart of Black culture, culture in general. And then in that body is like you got whether it's you know um, fashion, sports, whatever it may be. And uh, it's just starting from way back in the '80s to now, like. Back in the 80s, everybody growing up was wearing certain things based upon their favorite athlete, and now it's basically flipped to the other artist or the celebrity that everybody's wearing. Everybody wants to wear what you know their favorite rappers wearing instead of I mean, like not, not to knock an athlete, but like nobody's gonna look. Even the athletes are rocking with right. yeah, the so celebrities with right. the artists are wearing. You know, right. that I mean, like I know plenty of stories from people that. That's why you see so many athletes that be rapping, like Damian Lillard, the rap yeah. is, 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 right. that's just the main right. thing. Everybody yeah. wants to be a part of that culture, even if they're not the best. Like everybody here has probably spit a couple bars. Right. I tried to. Yeah. I mean, so. And they hang out with the rappers. Yeah. 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 The yeah. athletes want to hang out with right. the exactly. rappers. Exactly. The athletes want to hang out with the, with, the, athletes. With, 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 with the Jay and LeBron, exactly. you know what I'm saying? They so want that back. That back it's, um, it's definitely, you know, that's where I think it comes from. And, even to the point of like with me, with my small following, I've been reached out by these companies. So like the the the, 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 the masses aren't looking at these like the big athletes now, they're looking at the artists. And that's why people like Adidas now are putting uh, Snoop Dogg, 21 Savage, right. smoking weed, whatever. Right. Yeah. Back in the day, yeah. they're like, oh, we can't yeah. touch yeah. that. They, they want they 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 like, hey, weed, blow a blunt in there, get the yeah. shot. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're cool with it, like drinking, whatever. Like, 
you know, look at all the stuff people do now, like, if we were, you know, they back in, back in the day, they said they'd be frowned upon. Now yeah. it's like, we have to embrace it. It's that's, actually, our, that's our consumer. Celebrate it more in a way, you know what I mean? Like, like you know, oh, oh, yeah, like, you know. It's yeah, like, and I think, show, I, hey, think I, I was going, I think both of y'all touched on it a little bit. Um, and I think you did too, and I was going to say something about that. Let me let him get his thoughts out. I also believe, I guess because of where I, the, the, the avenue that I play in as a, a sports and entertainment marketer, um, I actually don't believe that the artists themselves are the influence. I think it's their crews and the people that they bump into when they're in different cities that actually give them the yeah. insight. Like, mm. so, you know, like, I, like, and I'll mm. give you a personal example. Like, like growing up in New York, there were drug dealers, right? You had the aspiring artist and then you had the athlete, right? So we look at that across the board right now. You know, if you have like a, a guy that's in the streets heavy and then you got LeBron or athlete of that stature and then you got like a Kanye, right? Um, Kanye is really super creative, but Kanye is not outside. You see what I'm saying? Like Kanye, he, he, he don't get to really see what his shoes are doing. It's social media that is giving them the end look. Like he said, like his following, if he's got a following, Adidas will reach out like, yo, bro, we got these new shoes coming out. Yo, we'll send you a pair exclusive. Yo, post it on your Instagram, just showing you tying it up, right? He's a regular guy to celebrities, but in brand and marketing, he has an influence and he can influence 11,000 to 12,000 people to say, yo, you know what? T had them, yo, let me go to Soul Play and cop them, right? right? They don't necessarily need the artist. I think like what you were saying to your point money, is- And then the, 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 the price of the brand, you know, yeah, they would have yeah, to spend- Yeah, it would be crazy for them to the, do it. What yeah. they're doing is they're using the artist's brand influence to actually say, yo, make this cool for us. Gotcha. You know, because like, like look at, I mean, and, and Victor Cruz, you know Odell Beckham, like they're getting, um, they're getting. They, those are not their shoes, but because of their influence, people are like, "Yo, let's make the shoe and let him market it." Good, um, a good example outside of just being a rapper or athlete, right? Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How he had, yeah. How he had you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. How he had his, how he, how he has his own brand, and like you know, he's separate from just being the entertainer to now being more of just like he's a lifestyle influencer yeah. a business yeah. you know what i mean just yeah. an overall business yeah man. when he started yeah. doing those runs that's that's what set it off because nike's like yo mm. we we want to work with you and you know like i said again because i get to see and hear stuff before it actually comes to public like that's all he did bro he was running he was getting in shape for a movie yeah. and he started doing these pop-up little runs where people can run with him and nike's like yo this dude got three, four, five thousand people showing up to run with him. him yeah, we need to, yeah, <laughs> we need to give him a shoe. shoe. You know what I'm saying? Because now he can move those units in the stores. Back to piggyback on what you said though, which is really important. I think at the end of the day too, like the influence is the streets. Right. You know, because right, yeah. um Duppy, these terms that Drake come up with, that's from the hood. Like right. that's the hood people yep. like. So it's just, it's as simple as Drake in the studio and the homie that's been in, in the streets coming through the studio with the latest something like yo what are those and then the next thing you know yeah. Drake doing it. They're not gonna see the one in the street. They're gonna see Drake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they're gonna yeah. think he's, yeah. a, he's, he's, he's they're gonna the think he's but the originate the yeah. everything comes from the streets. Like at the end of the day, like right. just the normal people. Like right. we don't even think of it right. that way. But, like, right. Really, but it's, and, and that's why I said social media has allowed people to be able to actually gain from it now. Yeah. If we didn't yeah. have social media, you got to think there's a lot of people that's wealthy right now from being follow you know having a large following an audience on social that you know they would have just been working a regular job yeah. and never seen the light of day because there was no social media platform you know for you to tap sin and you Reach know a million so people, people see yeah. it and you don't even know none of these people you yeah. know so like i was saying i need some help for this last question tony you gonna be surprised yeah, no uh. I think I know now. Funny stuff about that. Now, tell me, let me move this out of the way. Let me move this. Bottom. Damn. Oh. What do y'all think about the collaboration with Jack, the Jordan Ford and Travis <laughs> Scott? Man. Crazy. Ooh, Check them straight out. Straight up. Check them out. 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 Shit. I don't okay. even want to touch them. Damn. Either way, either way. I think that Nike this and the Jordan brand are some sneaky, little bastards. <laughs> I don't want to call, that. I don't call it that way. 
It's Sway the new bum. This is. It's Sway. They lost it. Drake's no. apparently left. Butter, bro. Right, yeah. right. Easy done left. So they went for the project. Travis Scott. Yeah. Let yeah. me get you off your feet real quick. You know, right. and they already got Virgil. So yeah, it's like, right. Kanye, you can have them. We gonna work with these people. Wow. And I think I think the, the, I the think cool aspect of it is, um, I was reading something. I think it was on like Sneaker News or something like that about you know like when he did the Air Force One. Like right. he 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 tried to direct the shoe to be like Houston, like where he grew up. Like right. it was it was very like. Even though Air Force One could connect back to New York, St. Louis, and the A, mm -hmm. like he was like, "Yo, I want to do something that's gonna make you know how we rock them." Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like he said, like they're the one thing that I respect about Nike. I wouldn't say over Adidas, but is that um, Nike gives creativity and they let you know who it is. Right. Like it's not a oh like we did this collab shoe and it was nike designers like if they're creating with travis scott like they are starting to put out content showing like the the, the, the development process and why he chose his colors or the the feel to it um whereas the other brands like you get it a little bit like if it's a uh kanye but like they should have showed in my opinion adidas should have showed when they did Big Sean, when they did the Push the T-shirt. Like yeah. that should have been a part of the documentary yeah. of the shoe being put out. Definitely. Nike's doing it now. Nike's like, yo, and that's why Nike always yeah, gonna stay know. above because they figured out a way to, and do they do everything right all the time? No, because a lot of times like, I feel like, you know, say like the Kevin Durant thing. Yeah. They, they threw a lot of money at that. Like Kevin Durant really can't sell shoes, bro. Yeah. Like, 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 let's just be real. Like, he, he's not a shoe seller. Yeah. Like, the shoes is cool, right? But, but they're not like LeBron's and, and Jordan's right. and other shoes that have come through the pipeline. They're not even like Pippins. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, out, I think like when they do shoes like this, these are these are lifetime shoes, right? right? Like these are these are the these are the shoes that my son's five. If I got my son to pair these, he'll remember these. Yeah. Especially, like, my son don't really know who Travis Scott is, but he know his music. Right. But if I was to be able to show him a video on, like, YouTube or Instagram, and I'm like, yo, that's Travis Scott. When he's 15, he's going to be like, yo, I remember my pops got me to Travis Scott. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how Nike moves, and that's why I think that they'll always be on the top. And they're the king of sneakers and sneaker branding because they do a little bit more exceptional things with their product. Right. Kanye was clearly, um, I, I just read it. He was, uh -huh. He's clearly, clearly heard about, it's a little bit of eh about Virgil's success. Especially right. the fact that he wanted to be a part of Louis Vuitton way back. Right. And now Virgil's right. ahead of that. Right. So, yeah. you know, and that's what the Drake yeah. shot was definitely yeah. that. Yeah. Also, the Jordan 4 that was off the Raptor colorway, that was yes. supposedly handed to be Drake's. And it had Drake's signature yeah. on, yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it switched off. So that's one thing. I think, honestly, though, my opinion with Adidas and, and Nike, I mean, I'm a Jordan Nike head. Like, that's what I'm going for. Um, definitely, though, with creativity, I feel like Adidas is, has the upper. I mean, they've let yeah. Kanye create his own shoe. Mm -hmm. you know, well, let's not even say they created They have their own shoe, their own right. model. Right. Whereas, you know, when Travis Scott, he's on, the, he's on there. Right. Just Don, he's on the Jordan also. Yeah. Right. Um, but you'll see what Jerry Lorenzo is doing. Right. I heard some good things I've heard, but he, I heard he's going after like an Air Force or something. Right. But um, Kendrick, he's on a Cortez. That's what I'm saying. But Pusha T, he's on an EQT, but it's slightly modified. That's his version right. of EQT. So I just feel like they give them their own thing, you know? But on a, like, on a... But, on an already existing silhouette. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's right. what Nike does. Right. Yeah. But right. at the same time, that's Nike. Like, they like, look, man, we already don't sell. Yeah, like, we, yeah. And they Just don't, give me some colors and, and, and some this, material. This, though, is a big step in for Nike because before the, before the oh, Just On collab, they weren't letting people right. touch their touch product. Yeah, like, yeah. They're like, whoa. Yeah. And, that, and that's what I was saying. So, so, so All five was probably the most modification ever done. Right, to and that, and that, that and too, yeah. so, so I'm, I'm actually, when I, when I made that statement, was like where they're going now. Not yeah. like what they've done in the past. Okay, like yeah. saying like, yo, Victor Cruz has got his own shoe. He don't yeah. even play in the NFL no more. Yeah. And they still market it and promote it and drop them. I, I think with Adidas, and, and the reason why I say that, because I've been watching, like I, I, I remember when Wex first announced he was signing Kanye. Like yeah. they, you know, even what they did with James Harden, like that was like cool, but it's like, you're not selling no sneakers. 
what I'm thinking, where I'm comparing that to Nike is that, like, if Nike does this, this is gonna sell. Yeah. And they know, like, how we're gonna do it. They're gonna roll it out a certain way. To me, they only do that with Kanye, but Kanye already, he's at the top. Like, yeah. he ain't somebody starving that you like, yo, let me get with you and help you grow. Mm -hmm. Like, this for Travis Scott is gonna put him back in the, in the, in the yeah. race. Like, his music ain't all that crazy right now. He don't have no, I don't know if he has an album out or not, but, like, he's not talking about it. Astro, Astro, Astro. No, no, he high. No, 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 I'm saying, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have anything. No, no, he's a star. He's a star. I'm saying, like, he doesn't have anything out right now. Like, no, he don't have an album. He's not on tour. This right here. He's just young, too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's. He in the spotlight a lot. He's there, but he's just young. Like, like he's young into the game. Right. Like, it's like, you Comparing him to Drake but or anybody else, like these right. dudes been doing it for ten plus years. Right. But it's crazy. Stuff. All the people we naming came under the same camp. Oh yeah. Under no, no, no. And that, but but and, so and, it's like it's like without you know when they coming up like Virgil making Off White. I think he had a brand before Off White. Right. Without them guys, Jay, Jay Z, who, who Kanye was affiliated with, right. wearing that stuff, right. we wouldn't even know what these people names. Yeah. You, know, you know the funny yeah. thing is, you know what you know the, the funny thing is, it reverts back to our original statement where. It be the people that hang with the people yeah. that got the idea. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he, he was, was his creative director. Yeah. Don't yeah. Travis yeah. Scott write for Kanye. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. He wrote yeah. about his yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, off wide, you got like, okay, that's what Kanye, like all these ideas. I mean, Kanye's very creative, not right. taking away, but right. the camp yeah. is pitching yeah. stuff. You yeah, know? and they have the, and, 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 and they what we call a hot box. Like, you go back to them to get what you can't come up with. Yeah. Like you might be struggling a little bit. You're like, yo, let me go back to my circle because yeah. they got it. And, and that's why I'm saying like, I, I, Adidas is going to obviously get the credit for Kanye, but who gave it to him first? Yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying? And so creatively, he's, he's, he is who he is. And I respect what he said about the business because, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and you own your own business, you do look at it. For a while, man, you grinding by yourself, putting your own money in. You don't have no... You know, you don't have no Nikes and the Adidas's to help. And it's like, yo, you know my idea and my creation is dope. Now you, like, I'm willing to work with you, but when we get it popping, I need my bread. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that about him totally. I just think that, like, even just knowing their backstory, like, as successfully as he is, he's also kind of like a, he wants to hold on to everybody. He wants everybody yeah. to be connected to him. Um, and I, I think that's where he lost the tutelage of Jay-Z because Jay-Z totally different. Jay-Z like, yo, go get your own. I'll help you. I'll help you navigate. Um, and I think, you know, to kind of throw that Rockefeller time frame in, that's what he missed from hanging with Dane versus Jay. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really what, why he lost his way a little bit is because he didn't really know which way to go. He's like, this is my big brother. And he's helped me a lot, but this is the dude that Found believed me. in me Found and gave me the me. bread, and that's what I'm a rock with. Let me add something uh -huh. before you before you segue to something okay. else. Back to just like being in the creative aspect of uh, back to like a shoot. Right. You know, I think that of course Ye had his you know his business things that he didn't like about you know Nike and Jordan and right. stuff like that. But if you think about it, he was the first one to actually take like you know, everything out of like a Nike or Jordan shoe. Right. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, no matter how great the shoe is, which it is still great, right. you know what I mean? It's, it's still cool. a four. Right. It's you know what I mean? Right. You know, it, it, it's still a four. Pe people will buy it, you know, of course, of course for Travis Scott. Right. But, you know, people will just buy it because they love fours. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. They bought, they bought Kanye, like they bought Red Octobers, they bought Yeezys right. because they were, Yeezys, right. you know what I mean? Right. They weren't anything else besides that. Right. And I think Nike, I didn't not even think, they were trying to contain that, right. you know what I mean? Right. Adidas was like, you know, bro, like, do your own thing. And he, like, 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 like he did that right. with just anything that, that like, yeah, happened. Yeah, and that's why I said I agree, but, but Adidas needed it, Nike did right. True. <laughs> that, that's right. the difference, it's almost like, that's why True. I use the entrepreneur yeah. thing, it's Nike like, he, Nike, like, Damn, yeah, yeah, Nike like, like, yo, yeah. okay, cool, yeah, you still not gonna sell more sneakers than LeBron James, so we can't focus on you and let you just do whatever you want, because we gotta focus on our money makers right now that are actually creating a product for, for our line, like, LeBron is like, literally, and I, you know, if y'all know, like, he's, Jordan for them now. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I not from it. a not from a from a standpoint of like, oh, kids gonna be dead in line for your shoes, but like, yo, LeBron, his his daughter's kids is still gonna live off the money that they making from Nike from his shoes being replicated. When they bring the of first course. LeBrons come back out, people gonna line up for them. You know, I, I feel like also maybe I'm just gonna okay. speculate this situation because it's, it's look when you look at the timeline, it makes right. sense. That Kanye opened up a big door for all these other people too. Right. And that being said, he left. And I would, I this is what I was going. This is everything I think. I think he left because one, he couldn't like he, he couldn't do like like you said royalty wise. Right. He left, went to Adidas, made the Yeezy, but then he also made the Yeezy brand, which is right. his own brand. Right. So he makes his own money. Adidas has no cut there. Then guess what? Off White comes in. They make their own money, but they sell Off White Nike do, but they still got the Off White that they make their own brand yep. on. Mm-hmm. Jay Lorenzo, he still has the Fear God, yep. but he collaborates with them on that shoe, but right. he still got his Fear God money. Yep. Then you got um, OVO. They got the OVO Jordan, but they still get their money. Right. So I feel like maybe. They were, you know, when you look at LeBron, right. LeBron brand is under Nike. Right. So maybe right. they were trying to get Kanye on that type of deal right. where the Yeezy brand would be under right. Nike, but he wanted his yeah, own. Yeah, he's like, yo, I want my own thing. Yeah. Like, Whew. Great dialogue. I love it. I love it. But that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming in to the sit in. This is the first of many. We have more to come. I just want to say cheers, fellas. Cheers. 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 Get some water. Boom. Boom. Until next time, fellas. Oh.